you want educational leadership, idea leadership, scientific leadership, um, civic and cultural, it's here. Um, and it's happening, and it's powerful. In those years, Philadelphia was at the top of its game uh, as a political leader, as a, uh, as a social and civic innovator. Uh, in terms of women's suffrage was going on here. The, uh, the development, I mean, it was, if I remember correctly, it was the largest free black community before the war. So you've got an infrastructure here for integrating freed people into the economy and the society that's second to none. It's a place where there's this wide open invitation to people of every conceivable persuasion, ethnic, national, religious, political, racial, and they're brought to Philadelphia, they come to Philadelphia because it's a place that rewards ideas and rewards moxie, if you will. And so you've got a physical layout that throws people together pr promiscuously, mixes them up in a variety of ways. You've got an economy that welcomes the fruits of those conversations, and you've got a culture that's fundamentally predicated on conversation, on conversation leading to ideas and leading ultimately to action. Philadelphia is a city in the sense that it's got its harbor economy, it's got its agricultural hinterland, and it's got the mercantile smarts and the industrial productivity to convert those goods into goods that sail out across the, across the world. And that gives Philadelphia an energy and a confidence um, that makes that its high water period.